I'll make a couple of other points about lightning. First, about the thunder. When lightning strikes, let's say a lightning bolt comes and strikes this lightning rod here. Lightning is a huge electrical discharge and it makes a lot of heat. And so the air in the vicinity of the lightning bolt gets heated up extremely rapidly and it expands. When the air is heated, it expands and it expands extremely rapidly and it basically makes a big sound wave as it expands and that sound wave makes a big crack and that's the source of the thunder. Now the lightning bolt we said earlier is really made of several or a bunch of little segments. Each segment really makes its own crack and so you actually hear all the different little cracks at different times. If you're standing down here you're actually closer to the bottom of the lightning bolt than you are to the top. So the sound produced down at the bottom reaches you first and the sound produced by the little segments up at the top reaches you later. So you hear lots of little cracks at different times. It sometimes sounds like the sky is tearing apart. And then you hear all those little cracks echoing and reverberating off of buildings or mountains or valleys and that lower deeper sound rumbling around is the thunder that follows the, the crack from the bolt. And then one other thing about the sound, when you hear the sound from the lightning bolt and see the lightning bolt, you can use that to tell how far away the lightning bolt is. Light, as you know, travels extremely fast. So when the bolt, when the bolt strikes, the light from the bolt reaches your eye almost immediately. Light goes so fast that the time it takes the light to reach you is negligible. Sound does not go nearly as fast as light. Sound travels at about 1100 feet per second depending on the temperature and density of the air but about 1100 feet per second. So there's 5280 feet in one mile so if you see the lightning strike, and as soon as it strikes, you see the lightning, and then here comes the sound, traveling at 1100 feet per second. And when the sound reaches you, you hear the thunder. Well, you can do just a quick estimate. At about 1000 feet per second, it's going to take about 5 seconds to go 5000 feet. It takes lightning about 5 seconds to go a mile. It's a common misperception that lightning travels, the sound from the sound from lightning, the thunder, it's a common misperception that the thunder travels at about one mile per second and some people count, they see a lightning bolt and they count one, two, three, and three seconds later they hear the thunder and they think okay three seconds it's three miles away. That would be nice if it worked out that way but it doesn't, you can do the math. At, at the speed of sound it takes about five seconds to go one mile. So if you see the lightning bolt and then you hear then you hear the thunder one two three seconds later you hear the thunder then it's a little over half a mile away so pretty simple rule of thumb there lightning strikes if you count ten seconds before you hear the thunder it's about two miles away and you can do that repeatedly and see if the time is changing getting smaller or growing larger and you can tell if the storm is coming closer to you or moving farther away just by seeing the flash and listening for the thunder. And you don't have to see the actual bolt. You could just see the glow from the flash coming in your window or something and you can count and get a good approximation of the distance to the storm.